Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome to my junk pile. Uh, I should go through all this stuff. I got way too much stuff accumulating. But anyways, uh, what I'm wanting to show you, there is hope for users that use the Kodak cameras. Or if you have a Samsung or some other makes that shoot in an MPEG-4 or MOV format. I'm going to get the user's manual for my Kodak Z1012. And we're going to go ahead and slide back to the specifications page and you look here for file format it's still JPEG XF 2.21 video QuickTime MPEG 4 which if you know if any of you have tried it it does not work the QuickTime MPEG 4 video format does not work with the old style uh, Windows Movie Maker but there is hope Because if you have Windows 7 or Windows Vista and you have Windows Live Movie Maker, then those file types will work. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and insert the card and wait for it to recognize and pull up the folder that it's in and scroll down till I find it. There's the images, there's the video. We're gonna go ahead and right click on it and open the properties up. And I'm going to show you and it says type of file and of course earth and view I downloaded here recently and I don't really need it and it's wanting to run on everything so it says it's an earth and view file but actually it's just a regular QuickTime file but it gives the MOV extension which was not compatible with Windows Movie Maker so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get out of this. Go ahead and close that out. I'll go ahead and minimize this. And I'm going to go ahead and open up Windows Movie Maker. And there we go. And it gives you a brief salutation here. Reads, click here to browse for videos or photos. And photos. And so I'm going to click on it, it opens up a new window. And it opens up the folder that we had had open previously on the SD card. And 102 underscore 2727 is the file that I'm going to use. And there it is imported it in. And we'll try it. Hey, good afternoon everyone. I just thought that I would share a rant. That... And it plays. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a title to it. We're going to call it the JVC Rant, just for fun. And go ahead and spice up the font. There we go. And stretch it, center it a little bit. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I'm not going to save the video. There we go, increase it. And I'm going to step over here to the actual video. And I'll click on the animations tab. And I will just add a fade. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I just thought... And we see the transitions play correctly. So I'm going to go to the edit tab. And we'll go ahead and split it. And I will add another transition. I will add a flip transition. And we see the transition plays correctly. Okay, once we've done that, 
I want to go back to the home group and I will just add a simple credit um, buy for now that will work and I will go ahead and add an animation to that also Mm, I will just go ahead and fade into that. So we'll go ahead and back up. Probably went too far. Of course, it's wanting to stick. It does that sometimes. We'll just back up just a little bit. Okay, it's wanting to be uncooperative right now, but uh, you get the idea. So hopefully, um, I've been able to offer some help for the uh, users that use uh, the cameras that shoot in a MPEG-4 or a MOV extension, but you can see all the uh, animations, they all play exactly like they're supposed to, it all imports like it's correctly, and it even indicates right here, you know, you know, it's an MOV file, and of course it indicates I've trimmed it, and of course it's also going to give you all the other information, the background, and you know, it gives you the blur transition, but I really thought that would be helpful. I think that maybe at some point, you know, that they will come up with a way to make these files work with old style Movie Maker. I don't see it happening because that's pretty much a thing of the past now. But anyways, I just thought that I would share that with you. And I thank you for watching.